the champions. No, I think it's more like the champions. I hope I don't get a copyright strike because that was so authentic. We are in the Champions League this year and we are doing the draw right now. And of course, we're in the top tier. I mean, we won the Premier League. We won the Europa League. If we weren't top tier, there'd be something seriously wrong. But let's take a look at the second tier. What is going on here? I think the only team I can genuinely say I would be okay with getting is maybe Ajax. We'll see who we get. I love this game. I love this game. We have gotten away with murder there. Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Juventus, Porto, Borussia Dortmund, Manchester United, Manchester City. All teams I would have liked to have dodged. Here, I just don't want to get RB Leipzig, Napoli, Milan, or perhaps Lyon, but I could probably live with it. We've gone Shakhtar. I can definitely take that. And going through the rest of the teams... Who do we have for the last seed? And the only teams I wouldn't want in this one are Monaco and Real Betis. If I could get Barté, that would be beautiful. Oh, you got to win some and lose some, don't you? But that's all right. There's certainly a, a group that we can get out of quite comfortably. And you have to say, there are some serious groups of death in there. Real Madrid and Liverpool in that group. Then there's Benfica, Milan, Atletico Madrid, Olympic Lyon... Barcelona, Zebra, or Juventus, more like it. Who else? We've got Napoli, Milan, uh, not Milan, uh, Man City, Bayern. Then we've got Inter, RB Leipzig, Man United, bearing in mind Inter won the Serie A last year. I'm pretty sure we've come away with the easiest group possible, but I'm hoping that we can still win it because I'd look like a bit of an idiot if I didn't after all of that. Hello guys and welcome back to the 16th episode of the FM21 Arsenal beta save where today it is potentially our last game in the beta even though I know the full game has actually come out in real life you know I like this game I pre-record stuff I try and get through it so get off my back man I don't need this in my life I don't need the negativity thank you very much all right now that that's out of the way make sure that you do like and subscribe if you are new around here can we go for eight likes today and uh make sure that you don't forget to subscribe so you do get all of the fm21 daily content that we're posting on this channel at the moment with the full game being out now i imagine because i'm pre-recording but right now in real life for me it's not out but in the future when this is coming out it should be out you get me yeah uh, i think you get me we are jumping into our first game of the champions league in this episode but before that I'm sure you all want to know what has happened during the transfer window. We have made some transfers. We have made some sales. We have made some signings. Let's check them out. Hey, I'm not going to lie. This is not the most original signing ever. But Camavinga gets signed a lot. And it's for a damn good reason, man. He is a beautiful central defensive midfielder. And he is a great option in that midfield for us. We've now got Kessie. We've got Party. We've got Camavinga. I'm acting like there's more than that, but you know, there's <laughs> there's options in there. That's a good three people that could start any game, so I'm very happy with the signing. And for only £45 million. That is not bad. I will admit, it could go up to 80 but for now it's 45 For now it's 45 We've also managed to bring in Gel Mario. I will admit, have kind of had a mere here. The scout report said he was going to be three and a half, but luckily I only have him in on loan, so... He's probably not going to play a single game. He's not registered for the Europa League, so actually the Champions League now, sorry. Um, and uh, I don't see him really getting on the pitch for the Prem. So, an interesting call there by me. And also, we have managed to get a lot of players out on loan. No one has been sold yet. Well, no one else has been sold yet, but we have managed to get Nelson and Ketia, Cottrell, Saliba, Terreira is on loan at Real Madrid, and he's apparently to be a regular starter for them i'll believe it when i see it and uh we've also got john jules who was the only man that was actually sold but i was just cashing in on him like he was he has a bit of potential not enough for me not enough for me since last time we have done very well in the premier league winning every single one of our games and we are set in top spot exactly where we belong with uh the top goal scorer as well being memphis to with seven goals and the top average rating i just saw is apparently uh, our man, Nicolas Pepe. 
don't mind that at all. He is playing very well in the league. We've got a couple of players up there in assists, and by a couple, I mean one, and it is Tom's party with three, so that's not too bad at all. But we certainly have had a good start to the season. The only player I am disappointed about is Neymar. You know, he's good, but he's not exactly been smashing them into the back of the net. He scored three and four, was three and five, so it could be better, it could be worse. Uh, but I've, I think I've tweaked his tactic now. I think he should be starting to smash them into the back of the net like you would expect them to be getting. But Depay, I mean, he's just he's just banging them in left, right and centre. Our first game is against Monaco in the Champions League. And this is the team that we're going with. It is rotated. It is a little bit uh, unorthodox for our first game, especially against probably the hardest team in our division, in our group, in my opinion. But... I'm going with it anyway. Actually, I need to play Leno for these games. He definitely deserves a start. Donnarumma can sit on the bench for now. And uh, I just would like to highlight Lacazette. He is listed for transfer. Uh, he's been offered to Milan and Barcelona for £45 million and then 42.5, And he rejected both of them. So, I think I'm just going to have to deal with him. Let's jump into this game. With that said, I'm pretty prepared for this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's keep going on the form that we're going in the league and transfer that into the Champions League. I just realised it's my first Champions League game in the series. I feel like the team's like already won it or something. I feel like I've already completed the series without even competing in this league. But I guess we did r lose the uh, Euro Super Cup. So, I mean, I definitely can't act like I've won everything I've dipped my toe into also didn't win the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup, so yeah, I, I definitely haven't completed the series yet. Aubameyang almost closing them down there, but they seem to be knocking the ball around very well right now, and they do find no one out on that left-hand side. It's actually Tierney that picks it up. Eventually, we get it through to Lacazette, who surely is going to try and prove that he deserves to be in the squad, and, you know, last year, he was a little bit, you know, uh, what's the word? discriminated against by me and I will admit that I didn't think he was good enough and he definitely was <laughs> but this year his morale has significantly dropped and that normally significantly affects people's performances so I'm kind of hoping he can prove me wrong again but I'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm pretty confident that he won't this year I think he does need to go out and uh, be sold finally but he's not looking likely right now because his you know contract runs out very soon so it's probably going to be on a free if i get rid of him anytime soon wilshire on the ball playing it back to gabriel wilshire is actually a player i was trying to get rid of but literally no one wanted him even when i put him down to five million pounds drexler on the ball and he does score his first goal for arsenal we will take that mate welcome to the premier league it's not the premier league that yeah i'm an idiot okay sweet welcome to the champions league drexler i mean he's already been there before He's got experience, and you can see he places that one past the goalkeeper. He knows how to get past his uh, League One sides as well. He's faced Monaco in his time with PSG, and he's put it into the back of the net. And we will take that one nil lead going into halftime. I think I think this is a pretty promising start to our Champions League campaign. I think if we win this one, we will definitely be in a good position to press on and uh, continue going. Actually, before I said AS Monaco is the best team. I'd like to really, like, change that. Ajax, they're probably the best team. Like, I, I don't know how good they are in this game, but I do remember they were pretty good in real life <laughs> not too long ago. So I imagine they're not that much worse now. I mean, they have gotten rid of the licked Zayic. Who was his striker during that time? Dolberg. Yeah, I've kind of, kind of gone rid of a lot of players that helped them get there. But don't, don't worry, I imagine still a good team. Also, Van der Beek. Yeah, there's a lot of players that are gone from that team. Holding on the ball. Playing it up to Gabriel and into Wilshire. Surely this is another goal. I just I just feel it in my bones. I know you can feel it at home too. Kessie, out to Saka. Saka almost loses the ball. He plays it into Kessie. Back to Zaka. It's apparently his name's Zaka now. We're going with it. Holding. Playing it over to Gabriel. This is a beautiful build-up play. Just looking for a ball. And he does find it. Will shit into Aubameyang. But mm, it's not quite the finish that we needed. I felt it in my bones. Apparently didn't translate into the computer FM21 save thingamajiggy. You know what I'm trying to say. And we have an injury. 
luckily, is probably the pe- a player I would have picked <laughs> out of anyone to get an injury because I don't really use Wilshire. But I mean, it's it's not ideal, but uh, but yeah, we uh, I feel like we can live with that one. <laughs> feel like we can definitely live with that one. I think we're going to make another substitution, though. It will be Neymar coming on for his debut in the Champions League for Arsenal. And uh, Aubameyang, having a good game, he's going to come off and just give him a wee bit of a rest, you know. Neymar is going to surely score a goal as he comes off the bench. He's, he's a beautiful man. He knows, he knows how to skip around these Monaco players. He's familiar with them. But I actually don't think we're going to get another highlight. In the, of course. you got to make me look like an idiot, FM. They just always do it, man. They just always do it. Not gonna lie, I have paused it there because my pie's ready. And uh, I, oh, against a run of play, I've been distracted by my pie. I think we've just dropped a point there. Dropped two points. And that is not the way I thought this game would go in the last few minutes. I thought this was the opportunity for us to double our lead, get some more goal difference on our side. But Diawara, he's come from out of nowhere. And just absolutely ruin the day for us. And um, I'm feeling less confident about getting out of this Champions League group. Well, I mean, nah, actually. I'm still just as confident that we're getting out of it. But come on, we should have won that game. We should have won that game. That's broad daylight robbery. Not having it. Probably not going to rotate my squad that much for the next Champions League game. But we, 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 we should have won that one. We should have definitely won that one. Hopefully we don't take the exact same form into our game against Chelsea. Hopefully we can forget about that one. And go back to the way we were playing in the champ in the Premier League, sorry. And uh, come away with another win. Surely. I-, I-, I feel it in my bones. I know, I, I know the last time I said I feel it in my bones, we didn't score. But I feel it, like, all through my bones this time, mate. So far in the league, Chelsea are up in 7th place and they've only lost one game to 6th place Southampton on the opening day. I've done my research here. And this is the team that we're going with to try and counter that. Uh, yeah. Uh... I don't know why I'm saying, ah, we're going with it. Depay is a little bit injured. He's pulled his groin, so he must uh, be taking after Phil Foden and Mason Greenwood during the weekend. Uh, apart from that, there's nothing really to comment on. I'm pretty sure he'll be okay to play out the game. Oxlade-Chamberlain, Kevin Vinga, and Parsi in the midfield. So an interesting duo in there. I'm hoping that uh, Kessie can find his way back into the team through some good performances off the bench because it, it is pretty competitive in there as well as the fact that Gabriel was forced onto the bench which I think is pretty unfair but with Skriniar and Luis Felipe I think you kind of got to play the both of them although Gabriel did win player of the season last year I don't know we'll just keep rotating see who gets the best performances in, and hopefully we can find a, a solid first 11 but for now I'm not complaining about having a lot of options taking a look at the Chelsea 11 you have to say it's pretty solid. It's always pretty solid in this game. And uh, uh, it's it's no different today. I've got Oyazabal, Asensio. Who else have they added to the squad? They've added Gomez. Is that? That's, yeah, that's, uh, that's Joe Gomez from Liverpool. So not a signing I thought they would be making. I mean, personally, I think that Dan James could do just as well of a job at right back. But they've gone with it. And I, I, I imagine it's made their team even stronger because of it. And after half an hour, we haven't seen a single highlight from two attacking sides, seemingly defending quite well. Uh, we get the ball here, though, and Neymar Jr. is moving forward. I don't know why I call him Neymar Jr. Like, no one calls him that. I'm like, no, who's Neymar Sr.? No one knows who his dad is. Like, if there was con- some confusion about who his dad was, then it would be worth it. But I've, I haven't met his dad. Have you? Oxlade Chamberlain hits the post there. Very good pass by Neymar there. Brilliant pass. I just want him to get an assist, to be honest. He's scored some goals, hasn't got any assists yet. You know, I actually want to see him get some pretty early on in the season because you know, he's a creator as well as a scorer. He's more of a dribbler, to be fair. As he's showing right now, dribbling past one. Dribbling past not two. Oh, there we go. Two, three, four. And he shoots. Why would you shoot, man? Like, ah. Uh... Got to get those mental stats sorted out, mate. Hate it. Hate it. They said they fixed it. The amount of times I've said uh, they said they fixed it is absolutely stupid. Because I was told that they fixed it. Why have I said that? I should have said... Oh, I should have said I'm not happy with the performance. Now I'm going to demand more. And confuse them, probably. That was dumb. I wasn't focused. Need more focus. Your focus needs more focus, Rexo. 
Come on, let's sort it. Let's get a goal, let's go ahead, and let's win this game. A draw is not something I would take out at home against Chelsea. We deserve this win. And substitution has to be made, I believe, to actually get the win. Saka is going to come on for Aubameyang, as he's the most tired of our wingers. And then we're also going to take Thomas Party off and bring Kessie on. Surely that will be enough. If one of them score, I'm a tactical genius. We haven't let Chelsea out a single shot in this half. You'd have to say, with them looking tired, we should be able to counter-attack and score a goal. I don't think it's going to happen. Ah, it's because I did the wrong team talk at halftime. I'm putting it down to that. It was my distraction. Um, I'm not happy. Three minutes of additional time, and they've injured Saka. Dirty, dirty players, man. That's ah, oh, that's d despicable. And Draxler's just going to come on and play in the exact same role and position. And with three minutes of additional time, I don't think we're seeing anything in the second half. And it's a nil all draw. <sighs> just bland affair. Just a bland affair. That was a pretty poor performance. That's a pretty bland way to end the episode, but that's where we're going to end it. Uh, we are still on the top of the table, though. Disappointed to lose, not win that game, so lose some points there. But I think we will come back sometime around this Liverpool and Manchester City games because those will be some interesting matches. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new for daily-ish football manager, football manager videos. What was that? Daily-ish football manager, football manager videos. Don't know what that was. And it's not daily-ish, it's daily at the moment. I'm getting that grind on. Prime time, grind time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later.